hello there dear friend welcome to the channel and thank you for watching wow what a day in the champions league borussia dortmund against sevilla what a game and another great game was juventus against poro let's start by talking about borussia dortmund and erling haaland wow it was 2-2 at the end because i always tell you people that in the bundesliga they don't have the defense they don't have defenders they can score i don't know how many goals but they always concede some stupid goals so i can say holland betrayed by the defense because borussia dortmund were leading 2-0 and who else scored nobody else but Erling Haaland in the penalty and another wonderful goal. I didn't really like his celebration. He tried to provocate the goalkeeper and all that. He was chased by <laughs> the Sevilla players. It's kind of funny if you look at the clip online, but that is not respecting the opposition. We all know how great Erling Haaland is and he need also to learn how to respect oppositions but it is what it is the boy keep on scoring goals and tomorrow is Kylian Mbappe's day Mbappe now need to match him because today Haaland did his thing he was the man of the match as usual collected all kind of you know <laughs> award of the day and Kylian Mbappe need to match and get the man of the game tomorrow by scoring maybe a couple goals and the game is on man the game is on this guy uh Haaland is going places and i don't see any team getting this brother for less than 150 million next summer because he's going to be the hottest property on the market as a chelsea fan you are tempted to do anything you can sell everybody you want get me Haaland. but if you look at how we are building the team right now kai harvard getting back to his normal level he can even play as a number nine and who knows he might score more goals than Haaland. only 21 years old i mean we have a great player in our hand we still have tammy abram even though nobody want to hear his name we still have uh, uh timo Werner who can still improve so it's a confusing one but can you really say no to somebody like Haaland? i don't think so we we're gonna just get him and find a place for him to be honest the end of the day but make no mistake those kind of goals are not going to happen in the premier league because the premier league is a different animal but for now let's just enjoy the boy congratulations to to Borussia Dortmund let's now talk about the other game Juventus against Poro Cristiano Ronaldo against Pepe wow what a game two legends of the game playing against each other and I don't even know where to start Poro pretty much played with 10 against 11 for the entire game not the entire game but you know what I mean Juventus had all the time in the world to score a lot of goals, close the shop and see the game out. But this is why we love football because something that looks impossible on paper is not impossible on the field sometimes. 10 against 11 and they ended up by losing 3-2 and they are uh, up uh, they are through to the next uh, the next round because of uh, of uh, the, the the away goals so this is football man ronaldo one more time stays home and not going to win the champions league anytime soon because it looks like uh, juventus is under a lot of construction i don't know man let me know what you think what next for cristiano ronaldo do you think he's going to stay at Juventus and build a young team again and make them competitive? Or you think he's going to go somewhere else, maybe where he can win more trophies? Because, you know, 36 years old, he's not getting younger anymore. 
uh maybe at juventus it's not gonna happen anymore this season is gonna be very difficult for them to win anything in the domestic level the scudetto is pretty much between the milan uh clubs and coppa italia and all that it's going to be between milan and inter milan and even uh atalanta so i don't see them winning anything this season and the question is what the point of sucking Mauricio Sarri if you have to give the job to a very inexperienced manager but that is another topic for another day well did you enjoy the day leave your comment let me know what you think about uh, the Champions League today and tomorrow what do you think about Barcelona and Paris Saint-Germain Let's have a conversation. God bless you and see you in the next one.